Hi, I'm David Morrison, and I'm going to talk a little bit about these rumors of doomsday in 2012, specifically in December of 2012. Much of this has started with people saying the Mayans, the ancient Mayans, predicted the end of the world or some sort of calamity in 2012. Well, that's simply not true. Talk to the scholars who actually study the ancient Mayans, or talk to the three million Mayans who are still living in Central America, they'll tell you that is not a correct prediction. Other people claim different prophecies from the Bible, from Nostradamus, from the I Ching, from all sorts of sources. Well, that's not true either. At least I don't think so, but, but I'm a scientist. I'm not going to talk about prophecy. I'm going to talk about the actual science. Is there a danger? Is there a doomsday in 2012? Much of this has been focused on the idea of a rogue planet coming into the inner solar system and nearly hitting the Earth. It's usually called Nibiru, after an ancient Sumerian god from Mesopotamia. Um, I don't know why there's no evidence in Mesopotamian writing that this Nibiru was ever considered a planet, uh, but a guy named Zechariah Sitkin wrote many fantasy books about this, and that sort of gave us the idea. You could call it Planet X or whatever you want. What is this supposed to be, this object that's coming into the Earth? Completely inconsistent stories on the Internet. Some say it's a planet, more or less the size of the Earth. Some say it's a giant planet, like Jupiter. Some even say it's a brown dwarf, which is actually a small star, much bigger yet. And there's no consistency on where they say it is. Some people say it's been hiding behind the sun. That's why we can't see it. Others say it's coming up from the south, so it can only be seen from the southern hemisphere. Some people actually sent me coordinates, and they turned out to be a, a plain, ordinary spot of sky in the constellation Orion, where there's nothing. Uh, and Orion is up this time of year. Anybody can look there. If there were an object in Orion headed for the Earth, every astronomer in the world would know about it. Let's talk about Nibiru some more, or this rogue planet, whatever you want to call it. If it were actually coming into the solar system and going to be close to the sun in December of 2012, we can see how bright it would be. If it were a planet like the Earth, it would be bright enough to be easily seen in the night sky. If it were a giant planet, it would be the brightest object in the night sky. If it were a brown dwarf star, it would overwhelm everything else and you could even see it in the daytime. But it's not there. How do I know it's not there? Well, there are at least 10,000 professional astronomers and 100,000 amateur astronomers that could easily see it. In fact, if it were real, they would have been tracking it for many years. There are also satellites in space carrying out surveys, and they have not seen it. There is no evidence for its existence. And I should add, most of those astronomers don't work for NASA. NASA does not do most of the astronomy. Even NASA's premier telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, is operated by university astronomers. The largest telescope in the world, which is in South America, is operated by the European Consortium. And, and so this is nothing that could be hidden. If it were real, the astronomers would have seen it for years, and you could see it. Besides, it's not just a matter of seeing it. If a massive object were coming into the solar system, the most obvious thing it would do is distort the orbits of the planets. And there has been no change in those orbits. In particular, we measure the distance to Mars every day because we're communicating with our spacecraft there. If there were any change in Mars' distance or relative speed, it would show up. Nothing. The solar system is as solid as a rock. So there is no evidence from gravity either that some object is coming in. In addition to Nibiru, there are a lot of other stories on the Internet that we can check scientifically. One group of people says the Earth has been suffering more earthquakes, more volcanic eruptions. That's not true. You can look at the statistics that are kept the same frequency of earthquakes and volcanoes now as in the past. Some say the Earth's axis is the tilt is changing. Well, boy, as an astronomer, I can tell you that's not true. If it changed even a tiny bit, our telescopes wouldn't point, our GPS system would fail, airplanes would be crashing. Nothing happening there. The Earth's tilt is exactly as it should be. Some people say the magnetic field is changing. Well, sure, magnetic field always changes. The magnetic pole moves around. Again, this has nothing to do with a spin change or a change in the tilt of the axis. There are other stories. Some people think that there is going to be a planet alignment 
in December 2012. Simply not true. You could look at a map of where the planets are. They're nowhere near in line. They're scattered all over the solar system. Some people say, no, it's, it's in alignment with the center of our galaxy, that the Earth and the Sun and the galactic center are in a line, which is pretty much true. It happens every December. If there was no cataclysm in December 2010 or December 2011, there won't be in 2012. There was a lot of rumors associated with this little comet Elenin that came by in the summer of 2011. And people were saying that that was really Nibiru or it was really a brown dwarf. Heck, it was such a dinky little cam comet that it disintegrated when it got close to the sun. It certainly didn't do any damage to us. There are all of these stories, and any scientist can look at them and see that they are fundamentally flawed. People seem to want there to be a cataclysm. Well, there isn't going to be one. There is no evidence whatever from science of the reality of Nibiru or any other interloper, of any changes in the Earth, of any external objects like Comet Elenin that pose us danger. Don't worry about it. Have a good 2013.